previously on low-budget Linux gaming. To be honest, Resident Evil 4 was the biggest surprise in this comparison. While it was just about playable on Linux, it ran buttery smooth on Windows. Just about playable on Linux, it ran buttery smooth on Windows. I made a video a few weeks ago in which I compared the gaming performance of Linux and Windows in order to show the world how superior the mighty penguin is, and to a certain degree I succeeded. From the 5 tested games, 2 ran similar and 2 ran better on Linux. The problem was that the only one game that ran better on Windows, the Resident Evil 4 remake, ran a lot better on Windows, I'm talking 65% better. Don't get me wrong, this game usually performs well on Linux, but on this certain PC it ran like dog. <laughs> the system in question is my good looking mini ITX PC that I built for only 200 euros. I already made two videos about it that I will link in the description below. But to recap, it has an Intel Core i3-6100, 8GB of RAM and an AMD Radeon RX 570 GPU with 8GB VRAM. I asked you guys if you want me to further investigate and according to the comments a lot of you wanted to do me so. Like in the previous videos about the system, the used distro was Ubuntu 24.04, at least for the most part, as you will see in the video later. The first optimization that I tried was to update the Mesa graphics driver. After the update, the installed Mesa version was 24.2.2, .2, which was a nice bump from the initial version 24.0.5. Unfortunately, there was no noticeable difference in performance, at least in Resident Evil 4, which we want to fix in this video. Honestly, this was expected since I believe this is an issue with the CPU and not the GPU. Nevertheless, it was worth the try. One comment which disappeared for some reason suggested to add the preempt equals full kernel parameter in order to increase the gaming performance. And this makes sense. It means that with this kernel parameter, high priority tasks have more chances to interrupt low priority tasks, which eventually means more CPU time for the game, which could result in better performance. Of course, this optimization has its downside as well, otherwise it would make no sense that this kernel parameter is not set by default. To summarize, it reduces the latency for high priority tasks, but at the same time it reduces the throughput because interrupts happen more frequently. Unfortunately, this did not the trick. The next optimization was to increase the limit for the virtual memory areas of the Linux kernel. The default value used in Ubuntu 24.04 should already be enough, but since SteamOS uses the maximum value, I also set the maximum value for Ubuntu 24.04. Also this should have no effect on performance and only prevent memory related crashes, but still it was worth the try. As expected the performance was not affected at all, unfortunately. I also insert core control to change the power profile of the GPU and CPU to see if this changes anything, but unfortunately no luck. Next up I installed the latest Proton GE version. This customized Proton helped me often with gaming related issues, but unfortunately not this time. Giving up was not an option, so I decided to install Bazaid. Bazaid? Bazaid? However, if something can help me, then it must be this awesome gaming distro that everyone is talking about recently. Unfortunately, I was not able to install it. I tried several workarounds, like mounting the EFI partition and deleting everything Fedora related, but still no luck. Since like I said, giving up was not an option, I installed the next best thing, Hollow ISO. This is essentially SteamOS that can be installed on any system. It's not official, but this makes it not less awesome. This distribution is full of gaming performance related fixes that must be able to help. But unfortunately, the frame rate was even worse. For some reason, the CPU clock was very low. Smells like power saver power profile, if you ask me. I set the CPU power profile to performance and tested it again. This time the performance was slightly better than the initial performance with Ubuntu 24.04, but nothing to brag about. And now finally we are coming to the optimization that did the trick. And I also found this optimization purely by accident. I have no idea why, but I ran the game in SteamOS in the desktop mode, which uses KDE Plasma. And not only was the frame rate around 50% better, the frame times were a lot smoother as well. I double checked and triple checked this several times. My thinking was that since SteamOS game mode uses Gamescope, which is a Wayland compositor, and the desktop mode uses Xorg, that it maybe run better in Xorg than with XWayland. In order to check this theory, I reinstalled Ubuntu 24.04 and started the game in the Xorg desktop session. And using Xorg did not the trick, for GNOME at least. So I installed Kubuntu and run the game on KDE Plasma with Xorg. 
which resulted also in no improvement, so using the XORG display server instead of XWayland had no effect. Ok, so let me quickly recap this. I had to run the desktop mode of SteamOS to get the best performance in Resident Evil 4. I have no idea why, and this is also only true for this single game so far. If you have further insight or just want to tell me what I did wrong, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, leave a like if you liked the video and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.